Hi, my name is Jason and I just want to talk to you about losing your virginity. There are many, many temptations around today in our culture and one of those temptations is to lose your virginity. There's a lot of TV programs, there's a lot of um, sexual explicit material out there that will try to encourage you uh, to get sexually active. And I want to encourage you to not be sexually active, to stay faithful to God and to keep your body for the person that you get married to. Now I know that's not going to be easy and you might say well Jay how can I do that because I really really struggle sexually with my sexual identity and problems with uh, sexual frustration and the answer to that is to know your position in Christ. It says we are new creatures in Christ. And you need to be defined not by your sexuality but by your saviour, by Jesus, that you are a child of God. That God is your father and he will guide you, he loves you and he knows the struggles and pains you go through. And he will guide and lead you and he has a plan for you. And if it is his will, he will guide you to the right partner. Now, if you indulge in sexual activity before you're married, it will take a piece out of you. It will uh, it will destroy you a piece of you inside and you will not feel whole if you do that because it's not the way God intended you to function so God understands your sexual desires he understands your sexual and emotional needs but trust him to guide you in the right way and it will be the best in the end deferred pleasure can be the greatest pleasure for example someone who's doing a uh, training for an Olympic gold medal you know they put off pleasure now for pleasure in the future so they train and train and then when they win the gold medal if they win the gold medal it's a rapturous experience and it's the same with sex if we put off something now but wait at the right time it will be far better experience than what we would have cheaply had in the present today so I would encourage you to keep your virginity and not indulge in sexual activity until you get married and you'll find it will be a tremendous blessing to you. Uh, there are a lot of uh, atheists on YouTube who are encouraging sexual promiscuousness and uh, such as Go Green 18 and people like that and others and I would just say that these people are extremely irresponsible they are people who are titillating and leading people in a wrong wrong way and you don't need to listen to them you shouldn't listen to them they will do you harm they will bring you down and they will destroy your life and God wants to give you a whole life a pure life and a good life so don't um, don't go down that path um, when I was young uh, it was no big deal to lose your virginity you just it was just a normal thing and in your culture it would be the same but try to not go the way of the culture but go the way of God and the way of the word of God and you'll be encouraged and you'll be blessed and you'll know a blessing and a fruitfulness in your life that if you go down the culture's way will only do you harm. Thank you for listening. Take care.